amazes me how quickly Scout swarmed up to me. It's just as if nothing bad has ever happened to the little girl in her life. She just faces the world so fearless. Who knows, maybe she'll grow up and she won't even remember the time her daddy wasn't around to tuck her in. The father-daughter bond is so special. I would never want to deprive Avery or Donna of that ever, you know. Why would you? Sonny and I are having problems. I'm sorry to hear that. Who threw the first base this time? <laughs> Nothing was thrown. I moved out. Maybe I should give it a little bit more thought before I take legal action. I think that would be advisable. I mean, why set something like this in motion if you're not certain? In the meantime, I'll look into the case law, see if I can find any precedents that help or hurt your cause should you decide you want to go forward. All right, I like that idea. I'll be in touch, Ms. Jerome. Well, that must have been some chat with Willow to get you to contemplate legal action. Well, Willow was my second visitor. Carly was my first. She stormed in here demanding to know the details about exactly what happened between me and Sonny and Nixon Falls. Sykes. How did that go? I went scorched earth. I held nothing back. Okay, well, define scorched earth. Well, tell Carly the truth. That if I hadn't said no, Sonny would have made love to me.